Hello guys, uh, this is Rahul here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install Cyanogen mod on your Sony Ericsson Xperia RKS. Uh, for that what we are going to do is uh, download the latest uh, Cyanogen mod version uh, onto our hard disk and copy it over to, uh, copy to our uh, phone as well. And uh, then we are going to use the flash tool to install the kernel that is available in the Cyanogen mod zip file and once we have installed the kernel we are going to follow the rest of the process over the phone itself using the recovery that is clockwork mode recovery so uh, let's start so what we have to do is once you have downloaded and uh, copied the uh, cyanogen mode on your hard disk just unzip it here we are so this is the cyanogen mode that i'm going to install on my device xperia rks that is cm 9.1.0 anju that is the device name so after extracting it just copy it copied and then go to the flash tool and uh, inside this folder extend flasher underscore lib basically this is the folder where your uh, flash a uh, flash tool is available that is fast boot uh, application is available so just double click on it and just paste it so here we are boot so now what we are going to do is just launch the mm, command prompt from here so for that what you have to do is just press the shift and right click and click on open command window here so here we are now to type the command Okay, so first we have to see whether our device has been recognized or not. So what we are going to do is type the command fastboot devices. Okay, <laughs> one more thing. Actually, we need to first connect our device to the fastboot. So upon uh, running this command, we see that uh, currently uh, no devices are connected in fastboot mode. Now, um, to connect the device in fastboot mode, what you have to do is just uh, press this menu button and then insert the micro SD card, actually, cable till you see this blue light. So, that means the device has been connected in fastboot mode. So now if you run this command again, you will see that the device has been recognized and is running in fast boot mode. Now what you have to do is install that uh, boot.mg file that is run it and install it. That will be the kernel. So command is fast boot uh, flash boot boot dot img just press enter okay so the kernel has been flashed now what you have to do is reboot into recovery for that just type this command fast boot reboot okay so the reboot command has been sent to the device Okay, so once you see this logo, just keep pressing the volume down button. Okay, so now you are in this uh, recovery. Okay, so that uh, computer part is done. No need to use it. Now we'll just unplug it and just proceed with installing the Sargen mod. So for for that, what you have to do is perform some cleanup operations. So first we'll do a factory reset. Okay. 
okay and then go ahead with wiping the cache partition and finally wiping the Dalvik cache you may wipe the battery stats as well though not necessary you may do it then now you go to install zip from sd card choose zip from sd card then come down to where you have copied the rom so i have created a folder called rom and there if you see the first one is cyanogen mod go there inside that folder and here we have this uh, zip file cyanogen mod zip file just press on it and click install So it will take some time to install let it run So you'll be able to see the progress uh, uh, in the progress bar where currently it is showing in black and there is a message installing update So another thing is that once this uh, Synergen mod is installed, uh, you need to install the Google Apps as well. Uh, since uh, Google Apps uh, do not come bundled with uh, Synergen mod and other such uh, ROMs like MIUI. So there are some ROMs that will be having the Google Apps available with them while uh, more uh, proper ones will not be having it. So you just saw that progress. Um, Synergen mod has been installed. Now we are going to install the uh, Google Apps for that just go to that folder again where I have copied the Google Apps so you see the first folder is Anagen mod here I have copied the Google Apps as well GAPS ICS 2012 429 signed zip uh, so I'll be uh, posting the download links uh, to these uh, zip file as well as uh, as well as the GAPS in the description section okay so Proceeding with GAPS installation, just click on this, click on install GAPS. You can see the progress. Okay, so this is done. Everything is fine now. So normally what i do is actually once i have installed the custom rom i'll do these cleanups again so wipe cache just to be on a safer side uh, do a wipe dalvik cache as well 
and finally battery stats okay and now just reboot the system So since this is the first boot, uh, it will take some time. But we can see that the Sanajan mod boot installation has started. So guys, uh, you might have seen like actually when you are installing these uh, Sanogen mod on your devices, you might get that error 7 message. So the best way to resolve that um, error is to unzip the zip file, Sanogen mod zip file that you have downloaded from the Sanogen mod website for your device. Uh, unzip that and inside that you will be finding the, you will find the boot.mg file so uh, all you that is actually the kernel file so uh, that is a kernel file yeah you see so install it and then you will be able to uh, use the uh, late uh, proper recovery and using that recovery install the rom okay so you can see cyanogen mod has installed so I'll be uh, creating another video just to show how to resolve the error 7. Okay, you see, this is done. So not now. Next. 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 Finish. Okay, so guys, this is how you can install Cyanogen mod on your device. Go to our phone and this Cyanogen mod statistics and others. Ice cream sandwich. Uh, thank you, guys. Hope you like this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.